All right, awesome. So this week, continuing on with beating our butterfly guard, right? On Monday, we worked three different ways to beat the butterfly. Today, we're going to work, I think, three more ways to beat her. Uh, just to review, on Monday, we practiced being right here, putting our head underneath of his chin, driving him down, lengthening ourselves out. And we practiced tucking his, tucking his head under our armpit, grabbing onto his belt as we fall down right here, blocking and moving ourselves through. Now, uh, who remembers the third one? Anybody? Yeah, it was the same kind of thing where we were, we were sliding down and kind of pulling up and up. Right? So, oh, pushing the head to the side and pulling. Yeah. 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 All right. So, anyway, what we're doing for this week, yay! Uh, or for today, for Wednesday, a couple different ways to beat it. Now, one of my favorite ways is when a guy starts coming out with butterfly guard here, all I'm going to take is both my hands and put them in between his legs right here. So I'm taking the backs of my hands, putting them in right here. As soon as this happens, I'm just going to lay down flat on my chest, right here. Now I'm going to make sure my hands slid out. You can see them both sliding out, and I'm going to choose a side. The side I always like to go to is to my left, because that's the side I like to pass to. And all I'm going to do is take and grab on right here, and walk my feet around, come up to my knees, and use my pressure pass for my double underpass, right? So taking our double underpass from the butterfly. As soon as he starts scooting up right, right here, my hands go underneath. I'm laying down flat and I'm walking, walking, walking underneath his legs on the side, switching my hips over and then moving to the side control position. Uh, now, when we're doing this, the guy's smart, he's going to be trying to, when I do this, he'll be trying to grab onto my neck, he'll be trying to grab onto a guillotine, he'll be trying to uh, go under my arm, like this right here, or doing this, like, right here, right, he's trying to block me, being able to go double under when I start this, but I don't care if this happens, as long as my arm isn't all the way out and you have me exactly on my elbow where it's like an arm bar right there, I'm going to have my hand under. He can pull as hard as he wants. He's not going to pull my arm through his leg. And all I have to do is keep going, going, going. He's going to keep trying to pull and it's not going to matter. I'm just going to keep driving and eventually drive that arm across and no matter how hard he pulls, it's eventually going to pop off right there. Why? Because he's not going to break my arm right the one right here is reaching underneath to our arm to try and block. Hopefully. Boom. Yeah, the other side it doesn't matter. I'm still choosing the side I want. Arms going across. And you'll find it's just gonna wrench that. It's gonna pull that grip right apart. So I'll partner back and forth. Uh, this first one we went between your like double unders, right? Going this way. This next one we're going to attack a little bit different way. This is one of my favorites to catch guys off guard with. Is they'll come in with their butterfly guard, they start start scooting, and instead of attacking under their arms or under or their head or anything, I'm going to take both my hands and I'm going to sandwich their knees together. When I do, I'm going to take my chest and I'm going to go around. So I'm going to push right here. I'm going to choose a side and then lay myself on top of his legs right here and grab on tight. So if he starts to straighten his legs or turn towards me or whatever, I'm in that same position where we were working on Monday where we now bring our legs down and around. And find ourselves right here. What up, guys? All right, so right here we find ourselves, he's fighting in. I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna push him together, move myself around and catch. Now I'm going to turn our whole body and lay myself flat and grab on tight to his hips right here. And I also still have a hold of his knee on this bottom side right here. And I'm pinching it to me and my chest. So if I was doing it on the other side, I'm going to pinch right here, go around, and I'm holding tight right here. And this hand is holding tight under his butt. Right? He can try and squirm and move right here, but he's stuck pretty good. 
and I'm not gonna move up to go around. I'm gonna move myself slightly down and escape this. When I feel my legs have escaped, I'm gonna move myself up and I should be in position for good side control. So right here, pushing it together, trapping it, holding it down, walking myself down and around into a good side control position. Grab a partner back and forth. Final one of the day. It's going to look off, a, very similar, and we can do it in the same scenario as the other one. I don't like this one quite as much. I think there's a few more working parts than the last one we did. It's not quite as tight. There's a few more options for the counters. However, this is a really good technique. Uh, so you got to have it in your pocket or in your tool bag, especially knowing that somebody can do it to you. So we're in the same situation right here. But this time, I'm just going to reach up. I'm going to grab both of his knees right here at seven. All right. So I'm grabbing his gi right at seven with both hands on the inside. Now when I do this right here, I'm gonna take and stand myself up, and I'm gonna push his knees all the way to the ground on one side. All right, so he's right here, he comes inside, I take this right here, I stand up, and I push both of his hands down with my grips right here. Now when I do this, I'm gonna take and turn my whole body over at the same time, so I'm pushing his, both of his legs away from me right here, and if he's trying to turn back towards me, I have them both pinned. Right? I turn myself over so I'm completely clear right here, and I walk, 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 until I feel myself completely clear of his legs. At this point, he's going to have two choices. One's going to be to turn back towards me, which is fine. I'm going to end up in a side control. Or his other choice is going to be to turn away from me. And if he does, I'm creeping up right on his head right here. He comes up to a turtle. He's going to choke. If he stays down where he was, I'm just turning myself over, following the rest of the way to my side control. Does that make sense? So one of those three lanes is gonna be open for us. You just kinda of gotta watch what, you, what he's giving you with his reaction. So being right here, comes in, I'm sticking, growing right here. Bringing myself all the way across. If he's just gonna sit here like this, I'm gonna let go of his legs. Bring myself down and around in my backside control. He's doing like this, of course I can sit him up. Pass opens up a lot of different uh, avenues for us, which are all good. Side control or better. However, you want to do the one that he's giving you. You don't want to try and force one of the ones that he's not giving you. If he's trying to roll his belly, let him take his neck. If he doesn't want to let you have that, continue to side control. So, same thing, he's coming in right here, grabbing onto his knees, standing myself up and pushing these across, turning myself over, walking, walking, walking. If he turns to his belly, I can even. Chasing my gear as well, right? Grab a partner back and forth. We'll call this. 